your money's worth when purchasing with these products they smell so good like i said before they do have a risk-free system so if you don't like your item you want to get your money back you can no hassles no gimmicks or you can exchange it out for something better that's more suitable for you go ahead and check out that link down below and get to shopping also use my discount code jamaya 10 for some money off your purchase Without further ado let's just go ahead and get into this video get into the actual portion of the video so i show you guys how i get my makeup looks and i'm back and we just want to get started on this little get ready with me i'm just gonna pretty much do my makeup probably like a natural look with a little bit of spaz and the eyeshadow kind of like a smoky look that's what we're doing today and we just pretty much want to go take pictures it's pretty much what i normally do for my makeup first because i feel like my brows take a long time and it's like the structure of the face since they're already arched which i need to go get them arched again they already look pretty much okay i can just fill them in where they need to be filled in it then clean them up real good so yeah i'm just pretty much just doing that to my brows my makeup routine pretty much has not changed i actually need to re-up on my makeup kit this one is the morphe brow cream i've been using this for like ever brow creams last a lot longer than brow pencils so yeah i really do like that as you guys can tell i did color my hair again it was supposed to be like a ginger color but i don't know it's like a reddish ginger color it wasn't what i expected i did a tiktok on it i didn't do a video of me dyeing my hair and actually straightening my hair i should do a video of me straightening my hair since i haven't straightened it in like two years but I'll do a video on that next time I decide to straighten my hair, which I probably will later on this like fall winter season. But for now, this is all I got is a TikTok and it's on my Instagram. But if you guys aren't following me on TikTok, it's at Jemaya and IJ. So go ahead and head over to TikTok and show me some love. I'm trying to like kind of rebrand myself. That's pretty much what I'm doing like behind the scenes. Just trying to figure out what I want my like my theme to be and also like creating like new content ideas which i'm still in the same like niche and everything that hasn't changed at all I'm just kind of figuring out how i want to go about doing everything so that's pretty much what we on right now is just rebranding before i just decide to post like random things this is pretty much my brows i kind of just let them be what they're going to be right now and then i go back and touch them up go back in with my concealer and then just go on my a little bit like in with my sponge and just kind of blend that out but yeah i haven't done content in a while i have been getting back into the groove of creating content that's why i'm going to go take pictures now just to kind of branch out in my zone especially in like fashion and everything i have like my own sense of style moving on into like my eyeshadow look like i said before i'm doing pretty much like a natural type of look but also like a smoky I, you'll see what I'm talking about but this is what I do for if I want it to look a little bit more I guess grungy because the shirt that I have on today is kind of like a grungy graphic type of shirt I'm gonna use the true complexion contour palettes by um, black radiance these are like my go-to palettes for like me doing my own makeup and also my clients makeup I just feel like these little palettes right here come in clutch for just like contouring getting a like a little natural glam soft glam so i'm just gonna go into the medium dark palette and this is what it looks like and i'm gonna use the lightest shade in the middle so it's like a sculpting um i pretty much use this one and also the light to medium one to contour and also do my little eyeshadow looks start out on the crease and kind of just work my way up with the crease just to like bronze it up a little bit i pretty much just use like a fluffy brush i don't really use a flat brush to create this look because i don't want it to look like too harsh or too dark if you would say and also i don't want it look to look patchy when i um pat on the darker brown shade so i just use a fluffy brush I like the darker shade on my lid i'm just going to use the contour shade and it's like a dark brown shade so this would actually be like too dark for me to contour on my face but um it's really cute for like just any type of natural look that you want to go for but as far as like contouring i would have to mix this with like a lighter shade to make it look um a little bit more like a contour instead of like a bronzing shade 
so i just had that on my lid like so and like i said before i want it to look real natural as possible so i don't necessarily use like a flat brush i use a more fluffier brush i'm just patting this on my crease well all over my lid really all over my lid and then kind of bringing it up to where that first color is so we can go back and blend out those colors together and be done with the look so same thing to the other side just pretty much packing on that color the shade that we used before i'm just going to go back up and blend out these two shades go ahead and blend out these two shades together and pretty much that's about it with this look I like to go ahead and put on lashes now. I used to put on lashes last. It was just better for me, but like now that my eyes have gotten like so watery lately, I don't know if it's because I haven't put on lashes in forever or it's just a simple fact my eyes have gotten more sensitive. I cannot put on lashes without like crying. <laughs> and it's like, it's annoying because I'll do a whole full face and then like my under eye will like be watery and creasing and everything. For lashes, I have been going crazy with the Cavalli Lash. I don't know if you guys can see but this is what they look like and i love this one this one is um in the style milan these right here are so cute so yeah these are really like voluminous and big i'm gonna put these on off camera because i am terrible when it comes to putting on lashes now so i have to like really focus so i'm just gonna put these on real quick and then come back to you guys okay so the lashes are put on these are what they look like. Like I said before, they give you very much volume, very much kapow. Like they look so good. So I'm just gonna use some primer. This is just the Shine Killer Primer by NYX, one of their classical primers. Now we're going into the foundation. I like to carve out my brows a little bit with the foundation that I'm using, just so it won't look too harsh, but it won't be like looking like it's patches of foundation around my brows. So I just carve it out with a little foundation. Now I'm just about to take the rest of the foundation and just put it on my face. Like just apply it to the skin. Now I'm just gonna take my Juvia's Place foundation brush. I'm gonna wipe it off on my back of my hand a little bit just so I take off the excess and just kind of blend it in like so. Normally I would start off with my sponge first but i like to just finish off with the sponge now i don't know i kind of switch it up it's not really like a specific routine but i'm just gonna switch it up every now and then like in between my brows i go in with like a smaller um this is the rounded contour brush by um real techniques but i just kind of pat that in to kind of blend around my brow area and make sure everything's like well blended there. Back in with my sponge, I'm just gonna pat everything in to make it like finally be blended in. Everything looks good. Going back into concealer, I use two concealers. I use the Kylie Jenner Cosmetics. Um, Skin concealer and this is the shade granola i know she revamped her line like her entire makeup brand so i don't technically know if it's actually still the same thing i really don't know but i got this like right when she was about to start revamping everything so i really don't know what's going on with her right now and with her branding but her concealers are pretty good but they have an okay range i like using their concealers as well for like my clients and everything i just feel like their concealer is really nice so i just use this concealer first and i kind of just blend it out i think her concealer is pretty good it's really nice um i also like her um highlighters so like i said before she did revamp her brand so I don't even know if she's still like the same colors and everything, but I think I had Cheers Dark, which was pretty good. It was really nice on my skin tone, like the melanin skin tone. I feel like that one was perfect for that. Kylie Jenner um, Cosmetics is not bad. Kylie Cosmetics, whatever. They're not really that bad. I think you just have to find what works best for you. It's kind of like my brightening-ish concealer, or pretty much just like my regular concealer that I like to use to brighten, which is the Tarte Shape Tape. I feel like you can't go wrong with a shape tape concealer. Pretty much what I do is I conceal, 
one area make sure it's really blended out really nicely then i go ahead and set my face so i'm taking the laura mercier setting powder this one is pretty good ever since i got it i've just been using it like non-stop i just go on top and kind of just go in this concealer actually dies down really fast like you have to work fast with this concealer and by me talking not really helping but it's not too too bad going back into my setting powder and I just use a little bit in the set of areas up under my eye. I use a little bit and then I kind of just work my way up. Most of the time what I do, I take two of my brushes and I kind of just brush off the excess. This is my bronzing brush. So it gives back a little bit more color to my skin so I won't look too, too harsh. I do that before I actually get to contouring just so it won't look too much of like a white cast which honestly with the Laura Mercier setting powder I don't get a white cast at all but I just don't want to look too light than what I am but going back into my contour palette I'm going to use both of them so I use my light to medium one which is pretty much my shade but since I don't have like barely anything in there I use like the contour shade and I mix it in with this sculpting shade and a little bit of this one if I want like an extra like bronzed look so I'm just going to use the middle shade of this one today in the medium to dark palette and I'm also going to use a little bit of the contour shade in the light to medium pretty much mix those two up and kind of just tap it into my skin and it kind of just makes my bronzer look a little bit more warm so make sure I get my forehead area my nose contouring, I pretty much just go back into a medium to dark palette and I use that middle shade to just contour my nose. I just go right down the middle, just kind of just drag it down my nose and kind of go up into like my brow area for my eyebrow and my eye area. To my setting powder, I pretty much just use like a little bit and I just tap off like a lot of the powder so I pretty much just use like the excess of the powder go back into my contour area or my bronze area and I just kind of swipe it down blend it out but and I just kind of tap it into the skin as well pretty much after my blush I just take it off for blush going into the Juvia's Place palette and just pretty much just dab it up there give me a little bit of color into the skin bronzing palette um bronzing brush and i'm just going to swipe off the excess i don't want it to have like a lighter cast kind of like i um highlighted so i just use this kind of blend out those colors and make it look like my actual skin onto this palette because i just love how this one highlighter is very much like a golden highlight i like this one as well in the light to medium but this is more like a champagne gold and most of the time I look for like more warmth when I like to take my pictures. So I just take the medium to dark highlighter and I put that on my cheeks to kind of like brighten that up a little bit more. And it gives me like a golden type of look, like especially like out in the sun and the sun is like popping out. Either if I'm in golden hour or just in general, it gives me more of like a golden look and that's what i like lips i have been loving the madison beer morphe lip gloss i just picked this up at ulta i think it was on sale because i think it was just like a little collab that they did like a while back and i've just been loving lip gloss like this whole combination i used to love both of the nyx products which i still do still one of my go-to's i still love the um cold brew shade one is really nice i like to od on some lip liner because i just feel like it lasts like all day and then all you have to do is just reapply lip gloss when needed saving spray now we're gonna set the makeup so i'm just gonna take these clips out and kind of just comb out my hair um i'm honestly surprised that my hair still lasts this long with me straightening my hair really no hair tutorial today for this portion of me getting ready but 
if you guys want to see me actually straighten my hair i can do a video for you guys the next time i decide to straighten my hair this is what my hair looks like i'm really really happy with how it came out and honestly i wasn't expecting this color but it didn't turn out to find a look like i said before go ahead and look at these fragrances you will not regret purchasing these fragrances at all really affordable long lasting and honestly you can't get any better with purchasing with dossier thank you so much to dossier for partnering with me on this video and if you guys haven't already go ahead and click the link down below to check out dossier get you some fragrances and i also have a discount code for you guys to use down below jamiah 10 go ahead and use that to get some money off of your purchase thank you guys once again for watching this video thank you guys for all the love and support if you guys haven't subscribed already please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below i'll see you guys in my next video bye Ryan Little. <laughs>